In this video, we are going to back up a project in iMovie, and we're going to back it up to our hard drive. So I've connected an external hard drive to my computer, and I'm going to start by clicking on this little select field in the middle of our projects window. So here you can see that we've got two libraries already showing. So I've already created a new library on my hard drive. In fact, I have two libraries on the same hard drive. So the iMovie library that we see here is the default library on our computer. But the other two libraries are libraries that I've created to back up projects on my hard drive. So let's scroll up to the top of our projects window. And here I'm going to select the library from my hard drive. And you'll see that it opens up. And this will normally take maybe a few seconds or maybe half a minute or so to open, depending on how many videos you have. But you'll see that the videos change once I do that. And I'll change back to the main library again now. So what I want to do here is take this video and move it to my external library. So here you can see when I click on these three little dots that we have the options to copy to library or move to library. And if we copy to library, it will keep the existing project in our current library. But if we want to move to the new library, then it will copy the files across, but then remove the current copy on our local hard drive. In this case, I'm going to move it to this new library, and I want it to be taken away or removed from my library on my Mac. So I've clicked the button to move this across. And once we do that, we will see a loading window at the top of our projects area. And I'm not quite sure why this happens, but it seems to load through all of the projects in your library. But after a few moments, this will be completed. And once this disappears, then we will see a progress meter on the top right of our screen. So at the top right, we can see we have this little like circular shape, this little moon shape, and it shows us the progress of moving our project across to the new library. And if we click on it, we can see what's happening. So we can see that the files are being copied across. And I'm going to fast forward a little bit here, but you will see that the progress meter keeps increasing as the files are copied. So we can see now that the status is almost completed. And now that it's completed, the actual video has disappeared, or the project has disappeared from this window. So I'm going to go now to the top and change our library back to this how-to videos. And you'll see now that we have our project moved into this library. So that completes this video. Hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next one.